Today guys, we're going to do a little chat about HP tuners. And what I'm going to be getting into is controller timed out or request timed out when you're trying to load a tune. And I'm going to tell you the major reasons why this normally happens. And I mean, let's face it, there's uh, nothing more frustrating than when you erase the PCM on a vehicle. And you go to right, and you start getting the old request timed out. Request timed out. And, you know, you scratch your head and wonder. And Anyway, I've been using this program now for a little over two years. I'm no expert on to it by any means. But uh, as far as the timed out thing goes, it's usually pretty simple. So the very first and number one reason... That you will not be able to load a tune is if you have both the scanner and the editor open at the same time the editor will not work so right off the bat only one of these programs well i shouldn't say only one can be open at a time but if you're going to do any tune loading onto the vehicle rewriting you have to have the scanner end of it closed so that is the first issue the second issue is usually a low battery so what happens is is you have the key turned on for a while some vehicles take longer to tune than others the key being on, everything drawing power, while the computer is trying, while your laptop is trying to write the computer of the truck, your battery voltage ends up slowly climbing down, and what will happen a lot of times is you'll get halfway through the tune, and you'll get a request timed out error. So a very good habit when you're tuning is to always have a battery charger hooked up to the vehicle while you're doing it then you won't have this low voltage issue when you're tuning and you'll have a good constant supply of power so that being said since we're talking about batteries you also have to make sure that the battery in your laptop is not down and out on its last legs um, personally myself i don't find that it works well if the battery's under halfway in any laptop. I've got a few different ones that I use. I just bought this one new yesterday, and I quite like this one a lot. But even still, I would never try to tune a vehicle with the laptop being low in juice. And if you guys have older laptops, I would probably recommend plugging them into the wall while you're doing this. So power and having good voltage while you're tuning is definitely something you want to have now this one here the next issue i ended up figuring out on my own and it took a little bit of head scratching before i actually figured it out but the fourth thing that will cause a request timeout error is if you have an aftermarket stereo in your vehicle every vehicle that i've tuned so far with an aftermarket stereo I've had to go to the control panel or the fuse panel rather and literally pull the fuse out for the radio because the security system a lot of times is tied in with it um, depending on how it's wired up it may or may not be but it will cause interference with tuning if there is power going to an aftermarket radio CD player whatever you want to call it so and i figured that out because when i swapped this truck over i had a stock stereo into it um it tuned fine all the time no issues then i put the aftermarket stereo into it went to tune it one morning and nothing i mean nothing would work and i just you know after scratching your head so many times i said well it's uh, it's got to be this radio that i just put in sure enough killed the power away you go now another issue we'll call this one number five i guess um this one's self-inflicted and i don't actually recommend it and i've been trying to keep myself away from doing it but uh, you get home in the evening after working and you want to play with your truck and it's dark outside 
so you know you come out with the laptop and you stick your key in and GM's especially got this beautiful little sensor here up on the dash that turns all your lights on automatically and most vehicles nowadays do so what that causes is we're pretty much back to the second issue the battery voltage thing um, if you're trying to tune in the dark and you don't have a light on that sensor to keep all the lights in the vehicle from turning on you know you'll have the headlights running the you know your whole illumination your tail lights will be on and it just draws too much power usually to do a tune I won't say all the time I, I have gotten away with it but it's it's headache prone and it will it'll cause you grief a lot of times so you know I recommend not tuning it dark if you got an automatic light sensor in the vehicle but again that being said I have pulled it off you get the battery charger out you hook it up um, another practice that I often do especially with my GM is I pull the two headlight fuses right out of it and it doesn't matter daytime or nighttime that just keeps the headlights from drawing any extra power from the system because they usually draw the most but um, that really doesn't help you that much in the dark because you still have your tail lights on and depending it may even turn your park lights and other stuff on if it's uh, if it's not powered up and running right so issue number six if you've been doing a lot of tuning to the vehicle repetitively in a short duration of time and I actually can't give you a reasoning behind this so I'll just tell you that I've dealt with it myself personally is um, you'll just keep running into this timed out issue timed out timed out you got the battery charger hooked up the fuse is out of the radio you've done everything right but it's still just not cooperating uh, I know everyone's gonna say oh this is a wireless thing why do you got the wire hooked to your laptop you don't need it well you don't but I just prefer this is connected there's no wire connecting it through the air even though it is Bluetooth I don't like misinterpret readings and it's anyway what I found is sometimes you may have to wiggle or jiggle your cable as you see mine's kind of bent up not in the best of shape but sometimes you got to play with the cable sometimes it's just a matter of pulling it out and reconnecting it making sure it's connected well uh, again on the laptop sometimes the connection can just you know up and decide oh i'm not going to work for you and it's going to take you all more than tune your truck which should only take 25 seconds so this here has been an issue for me I wouldn't say a hundred percent, but you know different times. I've just wiggled and jiggled it around and then all of a sudden it works fine and Which leads me To the last issue. I believe it's the last issue anyway um, And again this comes with the back-to-back -back tuning, you know It worked fine the first three or four times and now all of a sudden it's into a fit on you I've literally won, I mean, I must have tuned this truck probably a hundred times or more, but regardless, and that being said, uh, there was a few particular times, and actually it was always in the evening, so again, with the, with the lights on issue that I spoke about earlier, but just no way, like no way at all could I get a tune to load up on the truck, it just kept, you know, you get to the point where you're just about ready to start beating the lasso to stuff and uh, you know you just you got to walk away so you know I had this issue one night I must have tried 45 50 times to load a tune on this thing and no way uh, I took the laptop in the house I shut it off come back out in the morning plugged it in first try and again no explanation on that one because it was nothing that i you know the battery charger was hooked up the fuse was out again you know the basics and it just still would not work laptop was charged so you know if you get to that point just walk away from it for an hour take the key out of it close your doors you know maybe uh lock it non lock it sometimes just little foolish stuff like that may make it work may make it not but 
um, you know, once in a while I've had to just walk away because, you know, you can only deal with so much frustration and staring at one of these little computer screens for so long. But uh, that is my little tutorial on the HP tuner timed out and some reasons behind it. Probably not all of them, but I've got a Gen 3 Chev 8.1 for you guys that's been watching the channel. You know that. Uh, Six-speed Allison. And I've constantly been modifying, changing everything, like throttle bodies. So I've been doing a lot of tuning, tire size, gear, ring and pinion, all that stuff. Um, HP Tuners is great for it. Uh, sometimes you just need a little extra patience. And just, you know, make sure you've got a good, good state on your battery. It's not low in voltage or anything like that. Same as your computer, and hopefully if you guys run into this request timed out issue, uh, hopefully my video will help you out a little bit and get you back on with tuning.